Council of Nigeria, NYCN, has called on Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State to immediately bring the killers of the S8 to former President Gulag Jonathan Ahmed Gula to justice. The statement from his national president, Isa Abubakar, noted it is so pitiful and saddening the continuous killing and lawlessness going on in the southeastern part of Nigeria. The government of Imo State must give an account of those who killed Kulak. The continuous killing of Northern and destruction of security facilities in Imo State will no longer be tolerated. The group urged the federal government to rise up to its constitutional responsibility of protecting lives and property and act apparently so as to avoid the current situation from escalating to a civil war. It explained that the government should take note that it will not allow the killers of Ahmed Kulak to go unpunished, stressing that the Imo state governor, who is the chief security officer, must bring those involved in the assassination to justice. According to the statement, let us state categorically that Northern youth will do everything within their powers to force the government of Imo state to bring the perpetrators of this crime to justice. The Imo state governor and the Southeast governors should take note that we shall not accept the continued killing of the Northerners and Northern elites in their region as we shall take revenge henceforth. It gave the governor of Imo state two weeks to carry out the investigation or they shall declare him personal non grata across the entire northern soil. A lot of Nigerians have reacted to this. All right, the first person I have here said, the northern, the northern youth sh should with immediate effect to do Uzodema anything they deemed fit. To an extent, Igbo politicians, no Igbo youth will raise embryos, we raise embryos at such, rather such will be commended. I pity you people in the north, you are, you are jubilating now, I trust northern, okay let me take it again, I pity you people in the south, you are jubilating now, I trust the northern peoples, what they do with your people, you will not go free, talk. Okay, someone said, you go kill me, I beg. All right, thunder fire you, the killing of Christians and uh, Benue massacres. Why are you guys silent over it? Hold your Supreme Court governor responsible. Don't mind those animals. Nigerians are reacting. Thunder fire your people and your mama for commenting this way. You will soon see the revenge. If the war is between Igbo and the Hausa, don't beg any tribe to fight for you, Unagos, run. Whatever the Northern youth is talking about, so the killing of one man is an affront and they are ready to take action. What of the thousands being killed in Benue and other Northern towns? What have they done about it? The double standard of those misguided Northern youth is nonsensical. They should remove the log in their hides before removing that in the neighboring's hide. Where said all the massacre in the various states, yet nothing has been done to stop it. I guess they just wake up from sleep. They prefer the killings by the bandits and kidnappers. We don't pity you people again. Nigerians are reacting. And the northern youth obvious of what is happening in Imo State. Do they not know that Nigeria is at war with Imolite? As the state is under siege and there are crossfires everywhere, who knows which bullet that killed him, whether that of the unknown gunman or that of the combined team of the army, police or air force. They should pick the bullets, analyze it and ascertain which side it is from before displaying their character of violence. My guy, you are really a professor in thinking. Do they, the federal government, have what it takes to examine a bullet? I laugh in shyly. All right, someone said, please declare the governor. If you want, he at least stay in the states he governs. All right, someone said, yeah, the, all the problems in Oweri 
should be subscribed to the Northern Elites course because they used their power to make Uzodema governor against the wish of Imo people. The Imo people now vow to make him uncomfortable until their mandate is returned to their choice. I agree with you, brother, 100%. Mohamed Buhari and Mohamed Bello, the CGN, are responsible, late Abakiari inclusive. Uzodema killed him. Uzodema killed him. You people should kill him too. Ha! One Nigeria is about going to be three Nigerians soon, if not more. It don't happen. Okay.